Got a big fish. He's kind of going in and out of the screen, but he's been going around my baits, and this one here just got tapped. I don't know if that's that same fish or a different one. I've got, here, here's another one. I've got several fish around my baits, but that one there is a big mark. And there's one of them that's been kind of swimming around, and this one, there's something. Let me put the camera back in the chest here. We're about to start this video out with the fish, I think, because something's after that bait. I actually think he's got it, because my rod tip's kind of got some weight on it there. That may be a flathead. Oh, 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 oh. We got action on the back rod now, too. One of these rods, y'all. They're both acting like flatheads. I'm gonna crank down. I'm gonna crank down on this one. Welcome to the video, y'all. <laughs> this is a good way to get it started. I brought my live scope out with me today. I've kind of had it off the kayak for a while. Thought I'd put it back on here today and just take a look at an area that I have been fishing with some good success in recent trips. I'm, there's a creek up here and it comes out and drops off into an, an oh that is a flathead that is that's one let's set him back a second now let's pick up on his friend here we may have another flathead we may be doubled on him but there is a old creek channel that come out here and dumped into the river before they flooded this to make the reservoir and so now what you have leading up here is just a path for these fish to take up into a shallow water feeding area and I'm set up on it here and got my bait suspended right off the bottom. And we got us two fish. There was a big mark, and I'm not sure if it was one of these two, but it had been swimming around my baits for a while, and that is another flathead. Doubled up on flatheads to start the video, folks. How about that, man? Heck yeah. Let's get this thing up here. This is the first one here. What do you think about it, flathead? You like that skipjack head you just eat? I'll show you all my baits here in just a second. There's the first one, y'all. Just a smaller flathead. I don't think this was the one I saw on the screen. The one I saw on the screen looked like a significantly bigger mark. I'm happy to get him nonetheless. You know, water temps, 46 degrees here uh, today. So don't get a lot of flatheads in those water temps, but my last couple trips out on this spot, I have got some flatheads. I've got some big ones too, so had some optimism coming out today. You ready to go home, buddy? He said he's ready. Let's get him out of here. We'll see you. All right, your turn. We done got your buddy in and out of here. This one here didn't give us the bait back, but he ate a smaller skipjack chunk body section. That thing right there is fat for his size. You know, again, just a small dink flathead, but him and his friend, they come through swimming together. I had a bait there for the both of them. <laughs> well, that first flathead left us the bait on there. That's a skipjack head. I've got that on a Carolina rig with a catfish sumo bait stalker fly there under it. I'm gonna drop this down. We'll raise it up off the bottom. Right now, I'm kind of hovering around 44, 45, 46 feet. I'm kind of on a drop here where that old creek channel dumped in. And I set up here because I saw some fish and I also saw some kind of some kind of debris down there. I'll take the camera and show you. There's some kind of something, some object, wood probably, down a piece of a tree or something that's drifted down and settled there. And there's some fish. You know, here's one up above it, but some more that's kind of there around it. And so, uh, again, my last couple trips out, my regular audits, you've seen the videos I've set up here and caught some really good fish, blues and flatheads. And I'm a type of person, man, I get on a good bite. I want to ride it out, especially here in the winter months. You know, when it's January, water temps 46 degrees, you get on some good fish. It's best to keep pounding them while you can. So uh, anyway, I'm sitting out here, probably going to fish till dark today. Right now it's 228, so I've got three three and a half hours left here to fish i'm gonna get another bait on this back rod right here i'm just gonna take a just a small chunk of skipjack again the you know it's kind of hit or miss 
this time of year, but I historically have done better with smaller baits when we have water temps down in the mid 40s. So that's why I'm going with the smaller bait. And of course those flies on there look like a smaller bait fish dangling under the cut bait as well. And I have caught some fish in recent trips on the flies versus the cut bait. So I got another pretty good size mark there, right there under me. He's kind of circling around and coming back. I think we're gonna have a rod go down here in a second. This zero mark here is where I'm sitting. And again, that debris is down there. I'm right on top of it. And so my baits are all around here. I've got four lines out. And that fish has just kind of been circling around. He's investigating. We've got some friends over here, a little bit smaller off to the side. There's some activity down there. There's some smaller bait fish, I guess, kind of working in and out too that come in and out of the screen occasionally. So it's a... Uh, yeah, here comes these in there now. Yeah, it's one of them things, the live scope here is, it's kind of a neat novelty thing. Is it helping me catch more fish? No, I mean, I'd be sitting in the same spot doing the same thing today with or without it. But, um, you know, just bringing it out here on the kayak today, I just kind of wanted to take a look and see how these fish are reacting to my baits in this particular area. And, it's kind of how it's been, you know, I thought that fish might take off with the bait, but he just come in and circled around a couple times and and went on. And here's another one. Here's some more. There's definitely some life in the area, but uh, thus far, not a real active bite. Those two flatheads, it's the only action I've got. No, no other dink taps or anything going on. But uh, anyway, I'm going to sit here and just keep watching TV, waiting on these fish to come up. Got a little action here on the back rod, y'all. I'm gonna you crank down on that. I, yeah, he is on there. He is. Y'all, it has been a long while. It's after five o'clock now. It's been dead out here today. But a little while ago, I slid off a little deeper on this ledge. I'm 49 feet. And I don't know if you can see up there them birds. It may be too far away. They've been laying all afternoon and now they starting to get a little active they've been getting after some shad and stuff and i'm hoping that maybe nature's going to turn on here right before dark we got us a little a little blue it's something he ain't, he ain't much to be excited about but when you've had a slow of afternoon as what i have had i ain't going to complain about him you got anything to, to say to the audience here, Blue Cat? You actually getting some camera time today. He ain't got nothing. He ain't got nothing. He wasn't prepared. You always got to be prepared, people. You never know when your big, when your big moment's going to come. I'm going to switch that bait out there. It, I switched my baits when I pulled off this spot, but being that this is such a small bait, I'm going to go ahead and just put a fresh piece on. Lord knows I ain't used much bait today. This fella right here that just come up. Right here's another one. We got two of them that's moved in. This one looks like a pretty big mark. These fish just periodically coming in, looking at my baits, and moving on today. <laughs> it's not been an active day. But we've definitely got this one's attention. That's a that's a bigger mark right there. That's that's a looks to be a pretty good quality fish. He is right there on my baits. Oh, oh, right here, right here. We got one going down. We got one going down. I'm watching the screen. Oh boy. Oh boy, that one nailed it. That wasn't the one though that that wasn't the big mark, but you don't feel too bad. <laughs> yeah, y'all, I was hoping right here, right here before dark, these birds just kind of, they got up and started swooping down and stuff. And I thought maybe the fish are going to turn on too. And I got that little small blue and now we got this one. I mean, it was a long time between them two flatheads and that little dink blew a little while ago. 
but you know it's just a matter of putting the time in soaking these baits and oh man that's a that's not as big a blue as i thought he was <laughs> almost wish he'd come off now he could have he could have been 10 pounds bigger if he'd come off that'd been the story i told anyway <laughs> well there's what he eat a small piece of skipjack and there he is old fat thing get out of here he fought pretty well he was look at him he's over here now <laughs> he couldn't figure out which direction he wanted to go but anyway it's been a you know a grind out here today y'all it's been an absolute grind just slow day you know started out pretty well got them flatheads and i thought okay but the the it's, the sun never come out today it's been super cloudy and cold so the sun never heated up those shallow areas you know sometimes in these winter days you get a sunny day the sun shines down it'll heat those shallow areas up two degrees or more and that'll get the bait fish moving and oftentimes get the predator fish in there behind them that didn't really happen today and i think it's just kind of been a just kind of been a, a, a dud of a day you know wrong place wrong time for me and uh but you know again you get around these feeding window times dawn dusk sometimes fish just get active and turn on and i'm kind of hoping that's happening here but uh anyway y'all i'm gonna set out here till dark if i get any more fish you'll see them if not i guess i'll just call this the closing of the video and we'll wrap it up hopefully there's more coming though hopefully but if not i'll see you next time thanks for watching